Hello, my name is Alexis Beatty. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Epidemiology and Biostatistics and a cardiologist in the Department of Medicine at UCSF. I serve as the director of UCSF's combined MD and MAS program and co-director of the Training and Clinical Research or TICKER program. The first question I usually get asked is what exactly is a MAS? The UCSF MAS is a Master of Advanced Study in Clinical Research. Why should you get an MAS in clinical research? You can learn how knowledge is generated in public health and clinical medicine. You can apply your learning to generate new knowledge. You can enhance your chance at success for a career in clinical research. Our program has excellent outcomes. And even if you do not end up choosing a career in clinical research, knowing how knowledge is generated will help you critically evaluate evidence in your medical career. What does the MAS involve? The MAS includes 36 units of coursework over six quarters. We have shortened the typical seven quarters of the MAS program for medical students because the curriculums are complementary. In the MAS, courses are in foundational topics like epidemiologic methods and biostatistics, as well as more advanced topics like social determinants of health and clinical trial design. We also have dedicated tracks in data science and implementation science. In addition to coursework, we ask you to apply what you've learned to generate products of research with the guidance of a research mentor. Students complete a comprehensive literature critique, present a first authored abstract in a national scientific meeting, and submit a first authored manuscript for peer review. Finally, we ask students to teach a course in their second year of the program to solidify knowledge and gain experience with teaching research methods. UCSF students can fit in both the MD and MAS degrees by taking a year away from studies in the School of Medicine uh, after the third year to complete four quarters of MAS coursework. Then students return to the School of Medicine in the summer and come back to finish the last two quarters of MAS work in the final fall and winter quarters before returning to the School of Medicine in the spring of the final year to complete their medical studies. Students who want advanced training in clinical research and want to take an additional year for research but can't fit in the six quarters can also enroll in the Advanced Training in Clinical Research Certificate Program, which spans only four quarters. However, we encourage most students to pursue MAS because of opportunities for scholarship and teaching and the fact that the program awards a degree. How is the MAS paid for? UCSF students are eligible to apply for a year-long research fellowship grant through the uh, inquiry funding office called the Year-Long Inquiry Program. This is funded by an NIH T01 grant as a, and is a competitive program. Um, please note this only pays for one year of funding for your degree. Some students support their MAS training through other grants or funds from their mentor, or students are eligible to apply for financial aid. Other helpful details for UCSF students to know about the program. If you're participating in MDMAS, you can take the course Designing Clinical Research in either March of your third year or the first summer of your MAS. Some advanced planning for your career launch rotations is required to ensure that you can fit in career launch and MAS. Three blocks are recommended in the spring, and if you want to take away rotations, you have to plan carefully. The span requirement is usually taken during the final year fall and winter quarters. The deep explorer requirement is satisfied by the MAS, and you do not need to do MD with distinction since you will be getting the additional distinction of an MAS degree. How do you apply? There are two applications you need to be aware of. First, for funding, um, the year-long inquiry program through the Inquiry Funding Office. This is typically due at the end of March and is a competitive application. Second, the application for the MAS program. We have rolling admissions and will accept applicants anytime before May 15th. Since you are already UCSF students, you don't need to complete quite as much paperwork, and so you don't have to complete the graduate division application. So how can you increase your chance of success with getting funding? First, you should find a great mentor, someone with experience in mentoring and clinical research. Many people at UCSF with an MAS after their name have been through our program and know what they're doing. This person should be able to meet with you regularly during your research year. It's also helpful for this person to have grant funding and projects that are ready for you to dive into. Second, you should pick a great project. We use the finer criteria, feasible, interesting, novel, ethical, and relevant. The project needs to be doable within about a year. Third, you need to write a great proposal. Review it with your mentor. Make sure to write clearly and proofread. You want to put your best foot forward. 
Finally, I encourage all of you who are interested to contact me for individual advice. I'm happy to help you increase your chance of success with finding a mentor or project and offering guidance. You can get more information about the Inquiry Funding Office and MDMAS program at these links. Again, I encourage you to contact me if you are interested in the program. Thank you.